The ConMed PCD-10 is a fascial closure device that allows for full closure of the peritoneum and fascial layers, either through a placed cannula or after a cannula has been removed. The unique design of the PCD-10 fascial closure device allows for a reproducible, single-operator port site closure technique while maintaining pneumoperitoneum and minimizing the risk of internal organ injury. Step 1. Pull the previously placed cannula up to the level of the abdominal wall. Step 2. Advance the PCD-10 fascial closure device through the cannula until the end of the device is visualized. To maintain pneumoperitoneum, exchange the cannula out over the PCD-10. The device can easily be exchanged through a cannula to place suture for port site closure when maintaining pneumoperitoneum. Step 2 Alternative Alternatively, the cannula can be removed, a gloved finger can be placed in the hole, and the PCD-10 can be advanced under visualization until the end of the device is visualized. Step 3. Under direct visualization and using the guide knob on the top of the device, open the needle a full 180 degrees. The unique J-shaped suture placement needle minimizes the risk of internal organ or tissue injury because the sharp end of the needle points away from internal organs when in use. Step 4. Firmly place the ConMed fascial closure device against the sidewall of the defect and tilt the device slightly to direct the path of the needle through the fascia, but keep straight when pulling up. Step 5. Thread suture through the eye of the device needle, stopping after 2-3 to three inches has been inserted. The PCD-10 fascial closure device accommodates both braided and non-braided suture up to a size 1. Advance the threaded device down into the abdominal cavity. Step 6. Under direct visualization, rotate the ConMed fascial closure device 180 degrees to the opposite side of the defect. Tilt the device to direct the path of the needle through the fascia. Pull the device up through the tissue of the abdominal wall and remove the suture from the end of the needle. Step 7. Holding the suture, advance the device back into the abdominal cavity and rotate the guide knob back into its initial position to realign the needle with the device body. Remove the device and close as desired with the suture in place. For more information, refer to the instructions for use. <music>